Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. As you know, I do provide all kinds of free plan for you to use. If you go to azure.microsoft.com website, you will see this green button, try Azure for free, which means as long as you provide your credit card information, your personal information, then you will get uh, USD dollars, $200 to use for 30 days, which you can try all kinds of popular services. After 30 days, you will still have 12 months to get free product such as virtual machines, database, storage, app service functions. After one year, unfortunately, you will have to pay from your pocket if you will continue on to play with Azure service. If your credit card you don't want to provide to Azure and it's inconvenient for you and you want to get the Azure service temporary for use, then Azure does have another sandbox subscription provided for free to use. If you search Microsoft Azure Sandbox, you should be able to get this blog post. It's a bit outdated 2020, but the concept is the same. So that's why I'm making this video to just show you how this method is still working and how you can get a free sandbox subscription and play with sandbox environment such as virtual machines, which you can get 10 of them to play per day. Depending on the exercise, you might got one hour, two hour or four hours to play with all your sandboxes. So now let's jump in. To get your free sandbox subscription, you can search Microsoft Azure Sandbox. You will get the list to learn Azure with a free sandbox subscription link which there's uh, quite a few steps to follow. Uh, even as I said before, it's a little bit outdated 2020, but still it, the method works. You can use in this link and then find other exercise for creating a web app. So the interface looks different now. So you have to, for example, you have to select your path or just browse the training. That's what I do. Then you can search web app. It's not exactly the same what you see from the documentation here. Not easy to find a, create a web app in a zoo portal. But you should be able to use in configure web app settings here. And then you, as long as you can see there's some exercise, this one doesn't have but we can look at the next one, like AJ204 implement this exercise, creating a static HTML web app by using Azure Cloud Share. So that's the one way you can get a link and then you can start in to sign in to activate the sandbox. Another way is using this link, aka.ms AJ900 sandbox. I will put this link in the video description so you can click on it. There's uh, quite a few collections about those sandbox you can use. There's exercise here already. So for example, you can explore the learn sandbox. By the way, you've got a link, sign into active sandbox or creating Azure VM, sign into activate sandbox. It's the same. So I would prefer using this AKA link .ms AZ900 sandbox link and then you have quite a few collections and you can click to, while you're getting training and then you can get exercise at the same time. So that's how you can get into those sandbox login page or sign in page. Now assuming you select this exercise create a, a dual virtual machine um, you got this sign in to activate sandbox. That means you do need have a Azure account to log in and then you can use this subscription. That's obviously. So sign in to activate sandbox. So assuming you don't have anything now, you can create one. So let's create one link on the login page. As long as you have account, let's say I'm using this 91 NASDAQ account, to log in. This is my Gmail account. Of course, you need to create a password. Next. 
So now you need to tell a little bit of information that doesn't matter. Uh, I will just put the random information here. Next. Yeah, of course, we're going to verify email. So I put the code. So now there's a page. So you need to solve a puzzle to prove you are human. So let's solve a puzzle. Submit. So that's all information you need to provide. It doesn't need uh, personal information that much other than an email. So then you can have an account. So now we are all set. We can back to learn. Again, now you need to verify your account again before they can give you this free sandbox subscription. Verify your account. You need five. It's logs there. So let two, three, four, five. Let's the one submit. So basically you prove you are human. And then one more thing, you need the permission to create the Azure resources. Basically Microsoft then need you to allow them to create Azure resources for you. Okay. Permission request, that's a basic permission. We are done, so we got the one sandbox for today and the uh, sandbox has been activated. Keep in mind, this exercise only gave you just one hour. Um, based on this documentation, you can choose different exercise. Some exercise gave you four hours and uh, all the same, you will get a 10 sandbox. Of course, four hours will be better. So we will, we will test that later on. But now let's go back to our original one hour Azure virtual machines, which we have. So now let's go to Azure portal. The sign in. So we are signing in as 91 sec at Gmail. This is our first time to sign in. So it need a little bit more information. So let's go through that. You do need a to FA, which is mandatory now for you to log into Azure portal. So let's finish this part. Set up account, scan the QR code using your Microsoft Authenticator. On your Authenticator, you need to choose Add Account, which is I'm using Personal Account. I'm going to scan the QR code. It's activating. Perfect. Account has been added into my Microsoft Authenticator on my phone. So next, so we're going to sign in. They will prompt me a text box to enter the code on the screen, which is 12. Perfect. So we are ready. We finished our two-factor authentication settings. Let's get started. We logged in. Perfect. Now let's look at our subscription here. Now we got at least concierge subscription. As you can see here, this concierge subscription has been put into our account and it will not cause any charge for you. Let's look at our virtual machines. Now we are able to create a virtual machine based on this exercise and let's virtual machine this sandbox we can use for one hour. Now it's only 55 minutes left. Our next step is just go through creating the virtual machine steps quickly and then we can log in remotely. Simple, creating a new Azure virtual machine a subscription. That's the only one we have. And now we have a new resource group also created for us. You can see it start from the learn we don't have to create a new one. We just need to put it under this resource group. After an hour after the sandbox expired, 
the whole resource group, the whole subscription gonna be deleted directly from your account. So I'm gonna give a name, region doesn't matter. And then you choose image x64 architecture, the size. Here's the thing I like for the LAN sandbox usage because you have larger VM size here to use. Not like or injury here, if you're using those free products, they have limited, very small size VM for you, even it's valid for one year to use. But this one, you can have like two or just a few, eight gig memory. So that's the VM size allowed in your list subscription. I'm gonna use in password. I'm gonna use in the second one as password, as a username and then password and allow SSH. So here is Ubuntu server. Let's change it. Since it has two words, two words CPU and a gig RAM, we can run something bigger. We can run uh, Windows Server 2022 as your addition for Windows machines. So we can use an RDP to log in. And the RDP 3389 has to be selected for you. Just review and create. Since it's just for testing, uh, and just quickly create it and then we have RDP port open to internet we are going to using our RDP MSTSC from local to connect to it let's wait the deployment completed and then we got our public IP and we're going to log in so deployment has been completed and successful let's go to resource Got this public IP. We have our MSTSC remote desktop connection opened. Put the IP address in public IP. Let me connect to it from my computer. Um, now you need to put into username and password. Right away, you got the connection. So let's how you can log into your sandbox VM. Since we can have an option to get four hours free subscription to play out with our sandbox. So then let's give it a try. So we can open this one in a new tab and then we can find out uh, create a web app in the Azure portal. So let's browse or pass searching web app this seems like a good one this exercise create a web app in the azure portal which is exactly the same as the demo says let's uh, finish the puzzle submit let's activate sandbox we already have created a sandbox pre in previous lab so this new lab gonna deactivate that one and activate new one so keep that in mind you only can have one sandbox one time you cannot have multiple ones at the same time so let's uh, deactivate in the previous one and uh, activate new one so it will create a new resource group uh, assign roles creating other resources is needed usually it will take less than one minute to finish so we got our sandbox and it's four hours and uh, good for you to play i will put the link in the video description to make it easy for you to get this exercise one thing i want to mention is those vms we created in this free azure sandbox subscription is not able to hit the internet as you can see you can get the dns result but uh, you won't be able to pin or trace it or browse to the internet because microsoft doesn't want to abuse to use those free vms in a sandbox environment that's making sense but one use case really i think is helpful for us to do is you can create multiple vms you may want to try different 
OS system such as Ubuntu, then you should be able to do that. And then you can build your own environment as well here. You can create multiple ones using the they are they're gonna sit in the same resource group, they're gonna use the same network. Basically, those VMs can talk to each other at the same time. So you can print multiple ones and you can build your own home lab environment in the cloud. Of course, it's only probably just one hour to use, but still, it's something we can explore it. I hope this video gave you some useful information and you like it. If yes, give me some up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me great support. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Thank you.